Good morning. It's December 14th. My name is Galit and here's the galactic news of the day. Energy is a little intense, isn't it? Are you feeling it? Well, Mars moved into meeting the south node in the sky and the south node is at one degree Sagittarius and Mars just moved into Sagittarius, which is a good thing in general. However, Whenever we have something meeting the South Node, things from the past are coming into the forefront so we can clean them and handle them. So Mars South Node is kind of the old wound is showing up so you can take care of it. The other thing is that um, we have the, the South Node as a collective in Sagittarius. So we are dealing with old belief system that needs to be cleansed. So we're experiencing this intensity on a global um, um, scenario and in our personal life, wherever Sagittarius is in our chart. The other thing that's happening today is uh, Venus is still sitting with Pluto. That's an intensifier right there, right? Uh, asking us to really take a deep, good look at what is valuable and what is not. And the moon just moved into Taurus and Taurus is all about value, right? It's all about our value, our self-worth, but it's all about tangible values that we collect in our life, be it money, houses, nice things, whatever it is that we can hold in the physical realm and we like to have, right? Taurus is all about I have. So we get the opportunity to see and to understand what is important for us to have and what is not that important? However, all these scenarios, oh, one more thing, the moon in Taurus is heading towards that meeting with Uranus, which is squaring Saturn. And that is the big square between Uranus and Saturn that we've been experiencing for a year and a half and is going to intensify towards the 24th of this month. So this is kind of pressure. I don't know if you feel it, I definitely feel it. Uh, and one more thing, we're going to have a full moon uh, on the 19th, and it's going to take place at 27 uh, Gemini, wherever that falls in your chart, that life department will bring some experiences for you to see something. Full Moon is all about realization, seeing something we haven't been able to see before. So all those components are telling a story of change. And we know we're changing, that's not a new thing. But I want to talk about transitions. Every day the moon moves and the moon is like a clock. It touches things in the sky, all kinds of planets. It gives us different energies. It touches all kinds of planets in our personal birth chart. So it is bringing to the light all kinds of issues for us or all kinds of energies to be experienced. And always we are invited to take those energies to the next level. However, that moon, that clock, keep sensitizing us and keep bringing stuff up we are never still there is never a dull moment everything is in movement in constant movement and so is the nature of life we shouldn't be so surprised so by saying that I want to say that sometimes that movement brings a lot of beautiful stuff good energy nice uh, luxurious feeling uh, being creative and sometimes it brings some pressure and we shouldn't take it in a, in a bad way when it's pressure time, right? It's just an experience. However, we don't like to experience pressure. I don't like it. You probably don't like it as well. But we have to face those places that are coming up for us because if we deal with them right here, right now, and we upgrade that point of pressure, because there is always an underlying issue there that we didn't deal with, right? So that underlying issue is coming up so we can see it. So if we deal with it, but really deal with it, embrace it and solve that issue, upgrade it to the next level, then the next time around, we will not experience the same experience. You know how it is that we sometimes keep experiencing the same pattern of experience and we say, why is this always happening to me? Because we didn't deal with that issue at the core issue. It's not the experience, it's the core issue. So I invite you to look at whatever is showing up for you. If it's showing up to you, it's not necessarily so, but if it does, whatever shows up for you, deal and dig deep to see what the core issue, what's the underlying issue. And I bet you, you'll find some limiting belief under all that experience, under all that pressure that is 
it keep repeating itself and providing you with all kind of uh, same pattern experiences. I invite you to do a dig deep into your belief, into your limiting beliefs, into that pressure points and clean them up, upgrade. All that retrograde season are doing is allowing us to reevaluate stuff. And in January, we have soon on the 19th, we have Venus going retrograde and in January, Mercury is going retrograde. This is a good time to reevaluate and revisit some issues and take them to the next level. After all, we are becoming our best version every day, right? So I wish you a good day today. Enjoy the day. And if you are feel under pressure, don't forget to breathe, take a breath, uh, use the pause moment, right? Tell yourself, stop for a minute, breathe, and become the best version of yourself today and every day. I will see you next time.